hope you understood what is category and what is subcategory now. Let's learn how to add an item to the menu with QPOS. Click on the admin. Go to store configuration, click on manage category, subcategory, and item. Click on the category. One thing, before we add category, check if the category is there or not. If the category is already there, you can directly add an item. If not, you should add the category first. For an instance, let's add a category followed by an item. We can create a category. Add the category code. Give category name. For example, beverages. Here you can see save button. Click on it. The category is added now. Now we can check if the category is there or what. Yes. It's right here. The beverages is now added to the category list. Category is now ready. Now let's add the item. This is the item page. Here you can see all the items. Let's add an item. To all the coffee lovers, I am adding coffee here. Here we have to select the category. You can see all the categories. The main course, deserts, many categories are there. We have created beverages just before. So, we can select it. Now the category is selected. Give an item code. Print name and description. Give maximum selling price and selling price. I am giving 15 here. This price will be reflected there on the menu page. Select the unit of measure. I am giving liter. Select the tax code. Sellable and stockable. These are mandatory fields. I am enabling sellable for now. Give the opening inventory value. Because it's a required field. Mention the item is returnable or not. Now save the item. The item is successfully added. Now we can check whether it's successfully added or not. Go to pause. Select beverages. See, coffee is successfully added to the menu. See how easy it is to add an item to the menu with Q pause. Like this, there are numerous features that help your restaurant business. To know more, call us on 1-800-103-0735.